Hello everybody, we are out on a date, there's a gorgeous sunset, and we were having a discussion about perception. Do you realize that there is a study that proves that 12% of your memories are just your perception, uh, are fact, and the rest is just perception? I may have hit on this in another video. 12% of the events of your life that you remember are fact. The rest of the percentage is fiction. That explains so much. That explains why you can be in a discussion with your siblings and they're like, no, 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 it was this way. And you're like, uh, no, 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 it was this way. Or your husband or your wife. Rock. What'd you say? Oh, well, the birthday rock. Can you tell me a story then about it? Yeah. We had this birthday rock growing up, and um, it was like really smooth on one side and rough on the other side. And I think for sure that I found the rock, and my sister thinks for sure that she found the rock. So the fact is, there's a rock, and somebody found it, but all the rest is like. Well, and didn't we, you guys? I've heard you guys tell completely different stories. She will about, say, "I found the rock in this location." Yeah, and I found feel like I found the rock in a creek. Like they, they, this is the same rock we're talking about. Exactly and they the literally, one will tell the, this detailed story about, no, the birthday rock, I found it here. And this is what was happening when I found the rock. And then Trey will say, I found the rock and I can tell you exactly what happened. Like I've heard this discussion. So and it ended up having to be called the birthday rock and we just passed it back and forth at birthdays. <laughs> Yes. And it was funny because even after we got married, like the birthday rock would pass around. Like every time it was your birthday, you would open up one of your gifts and like the rock was in there. It no. lasted a long time. I don't think we do it anymore. I don't even know where it's at. No, I don't know where the birthday rock's at right now. <laughs> but that was good perception. Yes. Yeah, so that was a great story about perception and about how how we perceive events is truly everything. Everything is it, it does boil down to perception. Very little of your circumstances are actually fact. The rest is how you're perceiving them. So you could be, I do this a lot with weather. I will be like out and about and I'll be like, it's a beautiful day. And then I like look out the window and it's like rainy or cold or something. Um, this actually happened over the summer. It was like windy or something. Like it was gorgeous to me. And then somebody, somebody was like, uh, is it still super windy out there? Like everything about the day was really nice, except there was some wind. So how we perceive our circumstances really changes our experiences through life. Like, give me a thumbs up if you like to have good experiences. So next time you are experiencing something and you're feeling like it's bad, actually ask yourself, what is my perception and could I shift this? Could I actually shift this to something that's good? One question I ask myself is, what does this make possible? Like something bad happens. Okay, what does this make possible? Like my child takes her diaper off and gets poop all down her legs. What does this make possible? Well, you know, she kind of needed a bath anyway. Like she has fun doing bath time and um, yeah, let's just give her a bath. Like this, this kind of just brought up the opportunity to get her in the bathtub and let her have some fun. Um, or it could be a training opportunity that it presented of like, no, you don't take your clothes off. And this is why if that opportunity never came up, I would never have the training opportunity. So next time, just ask yourself, next time you're experiencing something that's really bad, that feels really, really bad. Just ask yourself, is this possibly just my perception of this? What does this actually make possible? And like, could I actually shift my experience? Could this actually be enjoyable? What's making it not enjoyable? It's extremely powerful. Like if you feel like you're tired, you're exhausted, or you're in relationships that are really, really irritating or a struggle, just ask yourself these questions. So comment below what question you are going to ask yourself. I want to see if you actually remembered what I just said, the question I just said to ask yourself. I love you guys. Have a wonderful night.